Oh yeah. iOS 13 supports external storage. Now I can access all my super secret Game of Thrones how it should have ended because character arcs are important theories. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I can't because it's encrypted. Good thing I've got a workaround for that. This is DIY in 5. Hello, DIY iFriends. I'm your host, Trisha Hirschberger, and this is DIY in 5. In this episode, we'll be covering how to use a secure USB on an iPad or iPhone so that all your most secret data can stay that way, yet still be accessible on the go. If you find any of the tips in this video useful, give this video a like, and please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. First of all, the only reason we can even have this conversation is because iOS 13 and iPadOS 13 allow users to use external USB drives and access your documents directly within the Files app. I know. iOS 13 can read any standard USB device that has A, been formatted with a compatible file system, B, has enough power to the device to allow it to work, and C, is not encrypted. Aye, there's the rub. So what's the secret keeping iOS using guy or gal to do? Use a hardware encrypted USB storage device and you'll be good as gold. For the purposes of today's video, we'll use the Kingston Data Traveler 2000 Secure USB with a hardware-based key lock via this handy keypad right on the front. If you're using a device with a lightning connector, you will need a lightning to USB adapter like Apple's lightning to USB 3 camera adapter, which offers USB 3.0 support and a lightning port pass-through for extra power, both of which you will need for lightning-based iDevices like the one that we have here. If you are using a device with a USB-C connector like the recent iPad Pro, this should work without the need for extra power. All you'd need here is a high-quality USB-C to USB-A adapter like the Nucleum or Apple adapter. If iPhone 12 finally comes with a USB-C port, this should work exactly the same way. Here's how it works. On a Lightning device, simply plug in your adapter as shown, then plug in the Data Traveler 2000 and a power cord from the adapter to the wall. Note that the USB-A draws more power than the lightning connector delivers, so make sure you have enough juice. Simply key in your pin to unlock the data files on the drive, and your protected files will now be accessible. On an iPad in landscape mode, your drive should appear in the sidebar automatically. In portrait orientation or on an iPhone, tap the browse icon on the bottom of the screen, which will list all your locations, and you should find your drive there. From there, you can copy, paste, and move accordingly, or simply access the data. Ta-da! Securely stored files accessed on iOS 13 from an external drive. And you don't even have to eject the drive before removing it. What a world! To see more iOS tips and tricks, click the link in the description or check out these videos here. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.